So here's a short video on Chaos Devices raw stock, just getting it started. Um, I am using a few modules here. Uh, first one is, uh, this is the sole source um, of this, the audio that you will hear. It's the fundamental out from Odessa. I also have some oscillators that I am using to clock raw stock, um, the 258T, and also the square outs from 3Body. So eventually I'll plug those uh, in here to clock the various outputs that we're getting out of Poxdom, which is connected to Rostock. So Rostock doesn't have any outputs. The outputs come from Poxdom. So uh, here I am patching Odessa into Dresno. And I'm going to clock Dresno with Poxdom in a second. Let's take an output first from Poxdom. We'll take uh, bit six out and I'm going to plug that into Veils and we can hear the quality of sound that's being produced from bit 6. If I move that over to bit 4, you hear the quality is a little bit different to one, uh, 0. So they each have their own particular flavor, different resonances that come through. I'll keep this in 6 for now. Um, but I'm also going to pick 4 and put that in channel 2 of Veils. We can mix that in how we want. Uh, take output bit out 2 from Poxdom. Send that to Veils channel 3. And then bit 0 from Poxdom. And send that over to bit 4 or uh, channel 4. On veils. So now we can mix these different qualities of sound together. Um, we can also change the pitch of all of these by changing the clock on Poxdom, which is now going to clock Fresno. You hear how that changes the quality of sound here. So I've got uh, the clock on Poxdom set to the middle selection, hertz. Um, I can change the pitch on Odessa, do whatever I want it to be. The outputs, um, sound coming out can be altered here. Um, but sticking with rock, uh, rough stock, I can now clock these different sounds, different rates. Um, so I'm going to just loop this, and you can hear now all four channels are shifting together. So this clock going over to Dresno is controlling the playback of this stream um, in the shift register of Rostock. So instead of that clock, I can replace that clock by putting in outs, external clocks here into Rostock. So all of the inputs, all the uh, jacks here on Rostock are inputs. So I'm going to take input or a clock from the 258. And you can hear now that the pitch is being changed by the speed of the oscillator on the 258T. Okay, so this clock is no longer serving that particular output. Still serves the others. So here are the other three outputs. Well, two of the three, there are the other three. So it still serves those, but it doesn't serve this one anymore. So I've simply replaced that clock with this. And this oscillator here, I will now plug into bit uh, four, which is right below there. And now I can clock that bit in that shift register. 
there and mix these two together. So with some CV, I could create some nice little dissonance you know, coming back and in and out. There, let's change this so it's a... Okay, close enough. Um, and then let's take another square clock, square wave from the three body. So here is the three bodies clock. Clocking bit two, it's coming out. I only have bit two up right now. If I add bit four and bit six, you can see I can start to create some really nice sounds. All of this is coming from one fundamental output from Odessa. And then I'll take the last square wave out of the three body and put that into bit zero and clock that one. So here that one sounds. Okay. okay, so now adding the other ones in. There we have some tuning issues to deal with. Now we can play with that. Uh, I've got this looping, I can undo the loop. Bring that back in. Set this up to be a nice perfect fit. Close to it. I've got all four going. Um, so now this clock is not going to do anything. Um, and it's kind of difficult to change all four uh, clock speeds on the, on the oscillators. So to change pitch, we can simply change pitch by reducing the size of the loop. So right now the loop in Rostock is 64. Um, stages long, we can change those stages to a lower value and that will raise the pitch. And as I do this, I'm also overriding the stages that were there. So I just lost 14 stages. They're gone. And as I go lower, you'll hear that not only does the pitch get higher, When I lose two stages, the sound also simplifies because I'm losing those stages. So at some point, I'm just going to completely lose the whole sound. Here you can see it's just one pitch. And it's gone. So if I go back to 64, you can see it's overwritten all of those bits that I had in there, all of those stages rather, that I had in there. So the only way to get them back is to either reintroduce new sounds into the loop, which you can do with the scramble button. Scramble button introduces new sounds from the um, ADC input, or I can re-loop it. So hit that. Simplify as I go lower, reduce content, and then I can also scramble it to introduce new sounds and overwrite bits that were overwritten. <laughs> okay, again, I always come over here, pull the sounds out. Set up the sound you like. 
and maybe take a step output from Pachinko and put that into length. See what happens. Eventually, all the stages will be overwritten, leaving nothing to it. Speed that up a little bit. See, it's just going away. Add something back in. There you go, little introduction to Rostock.